Hello, welcome to my channel, Spirituality With Me. I'm going to start at the end rather than a procession of all the things that I wanted to share with you about the awakening and the awakening process, but that's probably going to be part of a series of videos that I will do afterwards. Right now, it seems like so many people are asking the question about what can be done because they are feeling down and heavy and they're crying and not really understanding why they're feeling the way they are right now, especially when it's not their norm. So I wanted just to give some help today and talk through that as a kind of urgent message for anybody who needs this kind of help right now. The time is now. The time is now. I'm not going to go into an explanation of this right now for why that is, but if you are feeling that there is some urgent work that you can do or something that you can look at to help address and change the situation within the self, first of all, and then also externally, I'm going to share some ideas. Some of these ideas may resonate with you, some may not. Just take the ones that are beneficial to you. So some major things to do. Let's just think first of all about the mind. The mind is always thinking. It's always chattering away in your head, non-stop. You will find it's very difficult to turn the chattering off unless you're practicing meditation, mindfulness, or doing something specifically to calm down this thinking. You may not be pleased with what you see and you may find that it's quite uncontrollable at times with showers of negative and bad thoughts that you can't shut off or shut away. But help is at hand. If you decide to do some inner work, this is going to help greatly. Just to reassure you that many are going through this right now. What's going to be very beneficial for you is to develop your power to discern because these days which information is accurate all the time, who's saying the right thing, who's saying the wrong thing, what's really happening, what's not happening. It's quite a difficult time right now. And if you're used to usually feeling free, light and energised, and you want to maintain that, then it's going to take some effort. I do believe it's all about energy work right now and paying close attention to yourself, your energies, how you're feeling. So a few of the things that can be done, um, and this is just a, a little handful of things, is to decide and commit to meditating, developing your power of discernment through this, um, having the power to discern through release, surrender, and giving up whatever you thought you knew. Anything that's good for you that you did think you know is not going to leave you anyway you will never lose anything that's good and that is part of you. Underneath the mind chatter and all these things we think we know is actually a central part of ourselves, which you might call different things. It's a knowing. Um, there are different words that we want to apply to it. It may be called the soul, the spirit, consciousness, the little part of you that just stays quiet but just knows and it just whispers to you or tells you little things or just gives you intuitions or hunches, no arguments, no discussions, it just says the right thing at the right time. It might say, your MOT is due, or you need to pay that money now, or make that phone call, but it's quiet and it's in the moment telling you to do something that's necessary. Sometimes it comes as a feeling and it's important to play, pay close attention to your feelings now, observe them and watch them, um, this will be the inner work. Some of you have been saying that you're feeling low energy, heavy energy, moody, uh, and it's not usual for you. Some of you know it's coming from an external source as well. When you come to know yourself more and you know yourself more, what your personality is like and how you react, you start to learn about yourself and then you can use your power of discernment to see whether or not something is coming from you internally or whether or not it's coming externally. And this is quite important as well. Knowing yourself is vastly important, vastly 
um, intelligent as well, actually. That doesn't mean I want you to beat yourself up or say that you're a terrible person or you've done terrible things or you can't forgive yourself. That's not the reason. Please be assured, um, I've never met a perfect human being on this planet, ever. No matter how perfect they seem to be, they all are human and they all have their flaws. No one came here to be perfect. And if they were, they wouldn't need to be here. We came here, all of us, to experience the contrast between good and evil, light and dark, happiness and sorrow, the whole contrast and everything in between. Every child on this planet is being brought up by parents who are giving them instructions for about 16 years of their life. And still there's no perfect child. They're very different from each other. And we're allowed to do naughty things and so are they so that they know. So for example, you tell a child not to put their hand in the fire. They don't want to listen. They go near the fire. They start to feel a burning pain and they recognize that fire is hot. There are consequences that we won't like and there are consequences that we do like. And we're here to choose which set of consequences we want. The ones that are bringing beneficial things or the ones that are not. And it's up to us to choose and it's up to nobody else to tell us so develop your own intuition. You can do that by listening more to yourself, spending time in silence or spending time out in nature, because actually nature is vastly intelligent and will teach you if you allow, if you become observant and open up to the secrets that nature has to give you. You might be pleasantly surprised. You might be even amazed or have major realizations. There's no need to go hugging trees, although that's nice if you want to do that. The trees have been around a very long time and they've been doing a great job. They've been doing their job for long before us and we actually ruin their environment. It's that way round. So allow yourself to be open to what you might learn from trees and nature. Some of you will know when you go out with your pets, the joy that you have and the unconditional love your pets have for you and just spending time with them and learning what they would like to teach you. Watching the sunrise, the sunset, the clouds in the sky, all of these things from nature will give you, uh, plants as well, will give you information and will help tune you into your own true nature. So being mindful to observe the thoughts in your head, if you're able to, which is watching them. Initially, when you start, you won't separate your thoughts from yourself. You will just think your thoughts are you. And you will just believe that, that I'm the thinker of my thoughts and they are me and there's no separation. But if you get into the practice of observing them and looking at them, what you'll find is that they're going by almost independently at a very fast speed. It's very strange then you'll realize how many thoughts you have and how many tire you out and how negative they can be as well. So to become aware of them is going to be really helpful to you. Um, also the themes and topics of those things that come up, those thoughts. So when you make that detachment and see them for what they are, that's when you'll be able to begin to feel your feelings your, your true feelings and your thinking from each other. That's going to be vastly important. So if you haven't practiced mindfulness or meditation, please spend five to 10 minutes in silence every day because this will give you a different um, energy and knowingness and awareness. Doing it regularly is going to be ways uh, in ways that are beneficial in the way that you won't understand right now. If you're inclined to do that, I also suggest that you put a reminder on your phone every hour or so, so that every hour an alarm goes off and it will give you the opportunity to stop and think. So if you take that time, unless you do it, you won't know what the benefits are. And I'd like to say to you, every hour you can have a reset so whatever is going on, whatever is happening, that reset 
even if you're in a meeting or if you're in the middle of something and you can stop and have that little reset, you'll be able to come back to it fresh. You will have uh, more perspective and you will begin to see more than you ever imagined. Deeper things, wider things. And you won't find that out unless you apply it to yourself. So please do give it a go. Some of the things might be coming up for you might be very deep and ancient from within your energy, from within your cell cellular, stru cellular structure, sorry. And they're coming up to be healed. So we're all doing that right now. We're all healing. We're all healing from traumas. We're all healing from the short term and the long term past. But we don't need to beat ourselves up or berate ourselves. The thing that we can do is to take the lesson from it, observe it understand what it's teaching us if we can and once you've done that it leaves you and there's no reason for those feelings to come back so this is the best thing to do is just to acknowledge the lesson and then release it it's really very important right now and you won't lose anything and you could gain so so much more an infinite universe of answers like you never expected can be opened up for you if you will allow, if you desire. These are some internal things um, and I will do a separate video just with a meditation to help specifically with this issue and I'll answer any questions if you leave them in the comments section as well. Some things that you can do to help your outer surroundings right now is as I've already said, is being in nature, even for five or ten minutes every day, if you can manage that. If you have that time and opportunity to get outdoors, it draws you into itself and it's certainly better than sitting in a concrete building. You won't get that from a concrete building. If you can declutter, throw away any old rubbish, any old things that you haven't used for years that you're not going to use anymore, don't hang on to it, just throw it out. Keep your space clear and clean if you can. Um, and try and keep organised if that's possible. You may want to start with one small part like a wardrobe or your kitchen or a small space first of all and then work your way around. Each time you do that, you will see yourself how you feel. Whenever I do decluttering, initially, I get a heavy feeling to begin with um, as it first goes, almost as though it's still with me. But once it lifts and it goes, I feel amazing. I just feel as though I've dumped all of that and it's just gone from me and it's fantastic. When your place is clean and clear, not that I'm suggesting that it's not because it might be all that like that already, which is marvellous if it is. One of the marvellous things to do is to burn a candle um, especially those with favourite scents, but that kind of light, it's almost like bringing another dimension into your space. So candle burning is almost like a blessing, really. It's very beautiful. Burning incense, um, sage uh, and other incenses and things like bahur and um, other things from around the world. Um, so there are some things there to start with. And if you can think of um, a kind of patterning of things, a schedule of things where you are giving time to yourself, that's important if you can do that as well. And also the regular one hour resets every day. So these things, if you begin with, are going to start to help to put you on another level of energy. And high energy is what you're aiming for with positive thinking, um, pure thinking and all the things that lift you and inspire. If you can find some time in the day to lift your spirits like this and you make it a regular practice, you will find that you're beginning to feel better and then you will begin to find that these negative energy, sorry, these negative heavy energies cannot pull you down so much. So um, please do look out for the meditation that's going to come soon. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you soon. Thank you for listening.
take care.